Hi everyone, my name is Xavier and in this video I'm going to show you how to set up Visual Studio Code so that it automatically compiles TypeScript to JavaScript. Okay, so here I am in Visual Studio Code and I've opened up the same function that I've used in last video. It's our greeter function that just says hello and then a name that you give it. Now the first thing that we need to do is we need to create a TypeScript project. In the previous video, I manually compiled greeter.ts to greeter.js. But what if our code base grows and we add more and more TypeScript files? We can't run over each TypeScript file and manually compile it. Instead, we're going to create a TypeScript project. So I'm going to open up the terminal here and I'm going to ask the TypeScript compiler to initialize this as a project. So I'm going to say TSC dash dash and then in it. When I run this, it says successfully created a tsconfig.json file. And if I open up this file, then you'll see the default configuration for a TypeScript project. And this file contains the default compiler options. So here we specify how we're going to load our modules, what our target JavaScript version is. In this scenario, it's ECMAScript 5, but we can change it to ECMAScript 2016 or 17 or even newer versions. Um, we also say we don't want source maps and we say that we don't allow implicit any's. Now don't worry if you don't know what that means, I'll cover that topic in a later video. What you should remember is that by running TSC init, we have created a tsconfig.json file and that file is used to show that this directory contains a TypeScript project and that project might contain multiple TypeScript files. Now what we want to do is we want to automatically compile our greeter function into JavaScript. And we want to do this every time the greeter function changes. So to do this, we're going to create a new task in Visual Studio Code. To do that, I'm going to bring up the command palette by typing command shift P and I'm going to search for configure task runner. I'm going to press enter to select it and Visual Studio Code now gives me a bunch of templates that I can use uh, as a task. And one of these templates is TypeScript TS config and TypeScript watch mode. Now we want to compile our entire TypeScript project. So we're going to choose TypeScript TS config.json. I'm going to hit enter. And this will create a task.json file in the hidden VS code directory. Now the contents of this file describe what our task does. So first we give it a version that's not really so important. And we also tell it which command this task should run. So we want to run the TypeScript compiler. So our command is TSC. We say it is a shell command and we give it the arguments dash P and then dot. Now dash P means that we want to compile a project and the dot means where that project is. Okay, so that's it. Now if I now want to run our task, all I have to do is hit command shift B and this will execute our task and it will compile our greeter function into JavaScript. But it's not yet perfect because if I change greeter.ts, it won't automatically compile it. It just compiles it every time I hit command shift B. Now there are two ways that you can fix this. Either you add the dash W argument to the arguments section here and that will start the TypeScript compiler in watch mode, or we can redo just the whole thing. So I'm going to show you once more how to do it through configure task. So I'm going to delete our task.json file, and I'm going to go ahead and hit command shift P. I'm going to say configure task runner. I'm going to say TypeScript, but this time I'm going to choose watch mode. And if I hit enter, you'll notice that it generates almost the exact same task.json file, but this time it has added the dash W argument so that the TypeScript compiler knows it should watch for changes. And it also set this attribute to true. It says is watching true. And this lets Visual Studio Code know that it should notify the task runner each time a file in our project changes. So let's try this out right now. I'm going to open up greeter here. I'm going to put it in split screen and next to greeter, I'm going to open up our generated JavaScript function. Now I'm going to change my name. I'm going to call myself Simon here, for example, 
save the file, and boom, our change is automatically compiled to JavaScript. Now I can add other things here, so I can say person should be of type, type string, hit save, and obviously that doesn't change anything because uh, types are stripped away in TypeScript, we saw that in the last video, but I can say bonjour for example here, hit save, wait a second, and boom, TypeScript compiler automatically compiles it to JavaScript. So that was it for this video. In the next video, I'm going to show you all the different types that exist in TypeScript and how to use them. I'll cover types like string and number, but also arrays and functions. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe to my channel. It helps me out a lot. Thank you very much and I'll see you in the next one.